dolor de cabeza. Y, eh, Uy, cuidado, qué bien. Pero más que todo en la tarde me agarró otra vez. O sea, Good evening, <risa> teacher. Con mi Good evening. Ay, mucha agua, tomen mucha agua, ese es bueno. Yo tomo bastante agua, pero aún así. Good evening, good evening. Yes. You need drink water, ¿ok? No, pero yo, yo ayer me drogué. Me tomé tres a Zetaminofén, dos, una doble extra puerta. Uno. Dos de Clofenaco. Dios santo. Toda la farmacia te metiste. Y aún así no me quitó el dolor de cabeza. Tenías que bañarte. Ok. What are you talking about, guys? Excuse me, excuse me, teacher. Oh, it's interesting, but you know, you need to practice your English. Oh, okay. We are a cool. <laughs> so, how do you feel today? How do you feel? Are you feeling great? I'm feeling Not good. Not so good. I feel I, sick. I feel... How do you again? Oh, <laughs> for for uh, three days more. Really? No, come on. I feel sad today. I feel tired today. So how do you feel? This is a different question. I'm not asking how are you today. How do you feel today? So that is a how different. Oh, teacher, they are six. They are six or sick. 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 Ah, there's a difference. Sister and Josué. They are feeling sick. We are, we are sick. Sick. <laughs> yes. So, I'm Everybody, really sorry to hear body that. Hurt. Body hurt. <laughs> really, the body hurts. Okay. Yes. So, and as sick. you may know, yes, I really hope you feel better, class. You know? Yeah, I... I was feeling today a big stomach ache. I don't know. Every day is something different. I don't know why. As but, is no good. Yes, but I'm feeling better today. Very good. Uh, yeah, it's Very always good. in the morning. So I'm feeling better today. So I really hope you feel better soon. As you may know, we are just missing how many classes? How many classes are we still missing? One, two classes, how many? ¿Cuántas nos hacen falta? Uh -huh. I think uh, three. Five. Three. Two class, two, two. Two class. Five yes. classes. No, no. Okay. no si one. Five class, no, 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 no. <laughs> two. Two. Remember two two exactly. class. Uh, we have today class. and exactly. tomorrow. We tomorrow. have classes from Monday, Monday and Thursday. No. Yeah. We are, today is Tuesday, so we are missing. Yeah. Wednesday yes. and Thursday. Two more classes and this one. Oh, yes. So, exactly. Yes. Yes. So, Before what two. does it mean? Because it's um, mm -hmm. three, three classes. Three classes. From today. Three classes. With the one yes. from today. With today, yeah. today. three What classes. does it mean that you need to have all the activities ready for Wednesday or the last day, Thursday. That is the last one, but I really prefer you to finish before and not after, right? So yeah, I was yeah. checking the activities. Estaba chequeando mi grupo, se lo vamos a decir así. Y sí, todos estamos con sección 1, 2, 3, 4, completo. Great job. Pero recordemos today, today que. Today finish in uh -huh. section five. You, you finished today. Terminaron ahora. Today. Ok. I don't know. No sé qué tan actualizada está la información que me han compartido o hasta qué horas revisaron en la plataforma. Pero se los recuerdo así, que quede la indicación clara. Recordemos que en cada sección es necesario tener por lo menos un 80%. ¿Ok? Para que esa sección esté aprobada. Si tenemos menos, identifiquemos en qué Wonder. ejercicio hemos fallado y tratemos de llegar al 80 y por qué no al 100. Nuestra meta siempre que sea al 100%. ¿Ok? 100%. 100%. Mm -hmm. 
So, from section number five, hay algunos que todavía les hace falta y hay algunos que han completado successfully from section number one up to the final exam. Tengo acá, en su mayoría, los felicito, han completado todas las secciones y con un 100%. Wow, congratulations. Este ha sido uno de los grupos, créanme que ha sido bien diligente con sus actividades. Thank you no so he much. tenido que andar recordando en el chat, todo no. Ustedes han tomado su rol de estudiante, pues muy bien. Así que los felicito, vamos muy bien. Así que para los que no hemos terminado, eh, vamos a la plataforma, veamos qué ejercicios hacen falta y completemos. No nos va a tomar mucho tiempo, tenemos hasta miércoles, diría yo. Terminemos antes y no después. Ok, so that is my recommendation for this coming Wednesday. So you can finish tomorrow. before and not after. Yes, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow. The not last day, after. tomorrow. No. Traten de completar mañana. Creo que jueves ya es con mucho límite de tiempo, ¿ok? Es mejor que no les estén recordando que tenemos que completar actividades, sino que ustedes presenten antes, ¿ok? Pongámonos de meta eso siempre. Lo podemos hacer, can we do it? Yes or no? Do it, yes. Yes, right? Sí, sí, si alguien yes. necesita ayuda, que pida ayuda. Ay, no sé. Si alguien necesita Uy, ayuda, no duden. Yo necesito que me ayuden a completarla. <risa> no, tampoco no, eh, hagan todo, tampoco pues, ah, pues tampoco. Por, ejemplo, o sea, por lo menos yo me yo hubo una una, uh -huh. una oración no, que es broma. Costó, y Elvis me ayudó o sea yo siento que aquí estamos para ayudarnos pues o sea no, no, es, no es cuestión de que ya sabemos todo sino que todo, no, uh -huh. yeah, don't ayudando. worry don't be afraid you know? ay qué sweet yeah. Even yesterday, yesterday after the class, ayer después de la clase me quedé con creo que dos estudiantes que me estaban consultando y estuvimos respondiendo a esa hora. No hay problema. Tratemos de aclarar dudas siempre, ¿ok? Bien, cameras on. Necesito cameras on. So please, guys, remember the instructions, right? Marina, Jessica, Rebeca, Ichi, yo yes. tengo problemas de, de internet, entonces no podré encender la cámara porque me puede sacar de la, okay. de la reunión. So, that is Jessica. Sí. How about the other ones? Excellent, Jessica. Yo tengo problemas siempre que me reconozca la cámara, la computadora, por eso a veces se enciende y se apaga, pero eso estoy tratando ahorita. Ok. Solucionarlo. Excelente, Roxana. And... Yo también, también voy a tener apagada mi cámara. Tengo problemas. Ok. Excelente. Right. Uh, yo voy manejando, entonces cuando llegue a casa la enciendo. Very good. Yo me imagino que Mar Marina yeah. solo the driver pasa. Ya, ya, right. Ya, <laughs> imagínate. So, you see, why do I ask you? Porque les pido a veces, a veces les pido que expresen. Ok, porque el chat, si alguien viene a supervisar la clase luego, el video, no puede ver el chat, pero si ustedes lo expresan, ahí queda la evidencia, ok. Si ustedes yo estoy en campo. Yes, sure. Fernando is driving, right? No? Sí, en unos 10 oh. minutos yo ya, ya, la, ya la enciendo. Excellent. Excellent. Teacher. Yes. Yo no la puedo encender porque se me va el Inter y regresa. Ok. Tengo problemas de Inter. Ok, thank you, Maria Lucía. So, let me check the attendance list right now. Ok. Today is the 24th. Aleli Concepción. Present teacher. Ana Estefan. Present. Cesar Alexander. Present teacher. Elvis Aníbal. Present. Fernando Arturo. Arturo. Herson Vladimir. Present. Gladys Elizabeth. Present teacher. Iris Elena. Ok. Irma Raquel. Present. Jessica Mariel. Present. Josué Neftalí. I'm here. Kimberly Janet. Present. 
María Lucila. Present. Marina del Carmen. Present. Nelson Rolando. Present. Norian Karina. Pablo Reyes. Present teacher. Aquí voy en la oscuridad, pero porque voy llegando a casa. Ok. <risa> Excelente. Rebeca Eunice. Present teacher. Rosemary Beatriz. Roxana Beatriz. Present teacher. Sonia Guadalupe. Present teacher. Walter Alexander. Present. Wilson Alejandro. Present. Jessica Marilu. Present teacher. Zaira Yamilet. Bien, aquí vamos. So, what were we practicing yesterday? Who can tell me? What was the main topic from yesterday's class? When, where, were you born? When were you born? When were you born? So, it means that we were expressing <laughs> Years, how do we say years, years. in English? Pronunciation. Years, pronunciation. <coughs> so let's have the practice as the first activity in this class. How do we express years in English? Did you practice? Did you practice expressing years in English or not? Practicaron, Clase? Little. Yes, I did. Oh, yes, I did. Excellent. A little bit, excellent. Yeah. Let, let me show you this one. Okay, let's see. Let's pronounce them. I have some examples here. Column number one and column number two. Okay, ahorita se los enseño. Here we go. Okay. Let's see, I'm going to ask you to read. I have the first column and the second one. Number one and two, Elvis. Go ahead with number one and read mm -hmm. all of the examples there. Go please. Uh, number one, those. Mm -hmm. Yes, all of them. Okay. Uh, 2006. Uh, 20. Oh, oh, no, say 2010, 2015, 2020. Mm, no creo. Sí. 2020, uh, 1996, 1990, 1990, 1982, 1963, 1990. Very good. How do we pronounce this one? Uh, 2000, 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. 2000. That's okay. it. Cesar, continue with number two. Number two. Yeah, please. Um, 19, 1987, uh, 2014, 19. 82 to Twenty-three. You did an excellent job. Excellent. Saira, number one, please. What times? What? Me cuesta decir. What times? Six. What times? Twenty ten. 
25, 12, no sé, el 2020 no sé cómo. Continue. 9960 Okay. So all of this one remember that we are going to talk or we are going to mention 2000 or we can also read two by two. Acuérdense, podemos leer los de dos en dos o leer los 2000, 2006 or 2006, 2000, 2010 or 2010, 2015 or 2015, 2020 or 2020. Así los leemos, okay? So don't forget to practice. Josué, number two, please. Number two. Yeah. <clears throat> Nineteen 2055, 2023. Okay, 2023. Very good job. Let me have two more volunteers. I need two volunteers. I'm not going to mention names. No teacher. Okay, the first one that I have there is Aleli. Go with number two, please. And I also have, who say your teacher? Who was it? Pablo, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, número uno o número dos. Number one or number two. Okay, let's listen a Lely with number two and then you with number one. Go please. Okay. 2006, 2000, 2010, 2015, 2000, 2020, um, 19, 1996, 1990, 1982, uh, 15. 15, there we go. 15, very good. Continue. 2000. 2000. Uh, 9. Uh, el 0. Uh -huh, 19. 19. And then 90. 1990, leemos, 19. 1990. That's okay. Very good. Aleli, okay. please. Excellent job. Uh, number four. Number two. Yeah. 2087. Uh, 20. No, no, era 19. Ajá, ya está a punto de hacer esto. Go. Sí, 19. <laughs> <laughs> 19, <laughs> sueño, 19, cállate, es 1987. Okay. <laughs> 20, 2014, um, 19, um, <laughs> 1900 and 1916 um uh, 20 
uh, 55, uh, 20, 23. Okay, so this is not a correction, right? So, but in this case, we are not going to pronounce it in that way. We are going to say 1900. 1900. 1900. Mm -hmm. That is the, mm -hmm. the, the most common way to pronounce it. Okay. So, class, remember to practice. I'm going to give you just two or three minutes so you can practice with your classmates. Let's do it in pairs. Hagámoslo en parejas, right? So you can practice with your classmates. I'm going to send this picture to WhatsApp. Then you are going to have just like one minute each. So you can read both columns and practice the pronunciation. Please, corrijas entre compañeros, no hay problema. Correct each other. Here we go. So... What is your group? I cannot see it. Alguien que escribe en el grupo, porfa, porque me aparece en WhatsApp. I have a lot of groups, you know. I have so many groups. Con el cinco estrellas de nosotros. Yeah, yeah, right? Good idea. There we go, thank you. <laughs> Here we go. So, let's go and practice. Two minutes to practice. Let's practice in pairs. Vamos parejas. And correct each other as necessary. Here we go. Hola, hola. Me tocó con usted. Hola, hola. ¿Quién es? Hola, ¿quién soy? ¿Cuánto te llamo? Se le dispararon los cables a José. Sí, José, ¿con quién estás hablando, viejo? ¿Qué, qué ¿Qué no? Oye, es que me salió, me salió un grupo, know? me salió ahí una pantalla de alguien. No, voy a Yeah, pareció César, pareció este. Ok, now you el, el, no sé qué más. No, okay. aquí estamos todos. <laughs> Nobody has been in the room. Okay, now ah, you can go usted. and talk to your class. <laughs> Here we go, your class. Okay, Walter, thank you. <laughs> room number five. Just give me a second. Here we go. Please girls, try to join the session, please. Okay. There we go. I'm just missing Marina, Gerson, and Rebe. Excellent. What happened, Aleli? Me, se me reseteó la máquina y me sacó, pero ya, ya, ya lo solventé. But let me take Thank you, you to... Okay, room number four, go and practice with this guy, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm just missing Gladys. Hola. Paso Gladys. No puede entrar a la sala. Supuestamente ya entré, pero no sé qué pasa. No, sala tres, pero no me aparece. Vamos a mover la otra, okay? Don't worry. Go mm -hmm. to room number seven, okay? 
Nothing. Yes. Okay, this is time for you to practice, okay, girls? Speaking time. Let's practice, please. Help each other. Thousand Are you having problems with your internet connection? Maybe with your microphone? Zaira, Irma? Ahorita estamos bien. Sí, estamos practicando, no sé si se escucha. Yes. Se escucha. Person, did you have problems? Yes, teacher. Okay, let me send you to a different room. Vámonos a la sala tres. Go to room number three, please. Six. Y, y ahí no sería 2006 oh. nada más. Eh, es que hay de dos maneras. Este, uh. que, por ejemplo, ella dijo 2000, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. También se puede decir así como por dos, ¿verdad? Por 20 o six, algo así. Pregúntemele a la teacher, la que está con nosotros, a ver qué nos dice. Yeah, that's right, that is the correct information. As Kimberly is expressing, we can read 2006 or 2006. That's okay. No, pero, pero la, la pregunta, teacher, es si es 2000. Oh, six. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Es correcto, es correcto. Correct, it's 2006, correct. así en, en, en bloque de dos, ¿verdad? Oh, 2006, uh -huh. 2006. 2006 sería. No, decimos 2006 y 6. Uh -huh. 2006. No es oh, oh, six. No, porque ahí tenemos, oh, six. Ajá. si queremos decir oh, sería 20. Primero 20 y luego el 0606. Ahí sería dos puntos. Ahí sí, ahí sí. Entonces, en 2006 o 2006. Me parece más fácil la segunda opción. Ya, yeah, right? Es easier. Ah, pues vaya, vamos con la segunda línea entonces. Ok, go please. Este. Bye. Ah, no, y falta usted en el... Ajá, sí, falta. Dele, dele, en la uno. Ok. Ya, 90 es 90. Y 90 es 10. Entonces sería... Sería 90. Ok, 90. 1982. 82. 82. Ajá, nineteen sixty three. Nineteen, ninety. No, nineteen, nineteen. Sí, okay. Aunque yo, yo creo que también se puede decir, este, por ejemplo, nineteen eight two. Creo, no sé. Creo que aquí está la teacher, preguntemos. No, ya se fue. Eh, para ah, 1982, mira, mira. y para 1982, teacher, se puede decir 1982 o 90, ¿cómo dijo el compañero? Se me olvidó ahí. 82. 82. Sí, porque 80 es 80, 80 ¿verdad? 80. 82 es 82. Entonces la pregunta, teacher, es si se puede decir 1982. A2, no, porque lo leemos siempre de dos en dos. So, 82, that is the one. Ok. Yeah. 1982. Ese siempre, okay. ese siempre es el uso. 1982. Uh -huh. Siempre es el uso, de dos en dos. Ok. okay. ¿Qué columna es? 
Veamos, 1980. Eh, number one. Number one, yes, 1981. Uh -huh. So that's 1982. Yes. Y para 2055, teacher, él decía 25. Ah, no, porque tenemos que leerlos en dos cantidades. So 20, 55. 55, ¿verdad? 55. Podemos decir 2000, decimos 2000 en... 55, 2055 o 2055. Pero lo más fácil, 2055. Oh, okay. Teacher, teacher yeah, ¿cuál, es el uso, cuál, ¿cuál es el uso más común? Ahí, por ejemplo, eh, 2055 o 2000 o, o 2055. ¿Cuál es el uso más común que hacen en inglés? 2055, siempre de dos en dos, es lo más común escuchar para años ajá. y para cantidades de dinero. Cuando ajá, son, el 2000 casi no lo usan. No, casi ah, no, okay. 2000. Okay. Es bien como formal, así llamémoslo, bien formal el uso de 2000, en, bien como estructurado, pero recuerden okay. que lo más fácil es tratar de reducir tanto la forma de hablar y la forma de escribir. Es bien común en inglés, hacer short form de todo. So Here we go. So I was listening to some of the groups. And yes, you were doing a great practice, a great pronunciation and great use of how to express years in English. So questions about pronunciation, if you want me to go back with the rules or any other comment, preguntas. But mm -hmm. well, nice to. Al fin me agarró la cámara, teacher. Oh, now we can see Roxana. Hi, Roxana. I see nice to meet you. No, right? No, Roxana. So, you know, I was telling you. Saben que cuando entro a las rooms, there I can identify if you um, if you are sure about the topic that we are practicing. Here in the main session, if I ask you, do you have questions? But you say, no, teacher, we don't have questions. And then I go and I listen to you while you're practicing. And there you have a lot of questions. So don't be afraid. La pregunta que ustedes pueden tener cuando trabajamos en pareja puede ser útil para toda la clase. So don't be afraid to ask, ¿ok? So esa es mi indicación. No tengan miedo de preguntar. Por más sencilla que sea, sirve. It's going to help oh, a lot. Ok, eh, tenía, con mi compañera teníamos una duda y estábamos, de, uh, estábamos debatiendo con Sonia que la, para poder decir 2000 8, yeah. este, ella me decía que le sería más fácil decir 2008. Ok. ¿Es correcto? It is. It is. Ok. Y yo decía, sí se puede también, pero también se puede decir 2008. That's it. Let me show o sea, son tres formas de decir el mismo número. Es That's dos it. más el 20 Eight. Actually, we only have, yeah, we have three types of, uh, or three ways of expressing years. This is the mm. one that you're asking about. Look, this is the information that you're practicing. We can say, look at the example. The thousand and, we are going to add end. And then we mentioned the, the number that is at the end. Okay. 2005, 2008, mm -hmm. 
Solo hay dos formas, no three, three different ways. Y es Pablo. Ok, thank you. Teacher, este, um, a mí me quedó una duda cuando se dice 1900. Okay. Es correcto decir que eh, Tausen, Tausen, eh, eh, Nai Hunter, o este, hay que decir siempre en dos sílabas. Yes, the same. 19 and then 100. 1900. 1900. 1900. Mm -hmm. How do you read this one, Pablo? Sería 1800. 1800. 1700. 1700. Ah, and so on. Very good. So, 1900, 1800. 1700. That's it. Okay. Questions about this topic or can we move to a different topic? Teacher, the pronunciation is 2000? 2000. Very good. Yes. For this okay. one. 2000. 1000. Very good. 2000. Mm -hmm. 2000. 2000. So, if there's no any other question about this topic, let's go and check the platform. What do we have here? If you see, we are going to continue practicing expressions or sentences with the simple past. How to express this information? in the simple past. It is very useful or it is very common for us to make questions in the simple past using WH words. So let's take a look at this video, just examples, and then we can move on to the practice. Here we go. An example from the chart. Okay, here we go. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. Okay, so we're Chuck, going to move. where did you grow up? We are going to skip this part because we already know about this one. Let's see. Okay, let's just review this one. Vamos a repasar esto. Questions with WH words with the, was, and where. Remember that when we say was and where, we are expressing or we are referring to the past of verb to be. Indeed, this is just an auxiliary, an auxiliary that we are going to use combined with the WH words. So this is what we were taking a look at in the previous class. So what type of information do we have? ¿Qué tipo de información tenemos? Where? Where did you grow up? This is information about? Of time. Where? Is it about time? Place. Mm -hmm. Place. Place. Look at the second one. When? When did you come to Los Angeles? When? It's information time. about? Yes. Place. Okay. Time. 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 When? Cuando? Why? When time. Why did you become a ha hairstylist? Or why? Reason. It's a reason. We need to find out about reason. And then we have some other examples. How old were you in 1990? What type of information do we get? Age. Exactly. How? Information about age. 
a that. What was, oh, this is maybe general information. What was your major in college? This is just extra information. ¿Cuál era tu carrera in? Bueno, when we refer to college, we are talking about the place in which we are studying, right? And opinion. How was college? How was it? Was it great? Was it bad? This is just an opinion. So now that you identify the type of information that you're going to get, how do we give a response? We have two ways. Subject, verb in past, plus complement. Subject, the bird came that is in past, and then we have the complement. Or okay. This is in the case that you have the auxiliary did. Cuando tenemos el auxiliary did, we are going to use that structure. But when we are being asked with was or where <clears throat> of course we need to ask i'm sorry we need to reply with was or where as well look how old were you in 1990 subject was or where mm -hmm. and then the complement what was your major in college subject was in complement. How was college? Subject was in complement. So that is the structure that we have. Let's listen to a couple of examples so we can move on. And where? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was 18. Thank you. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. Okay, here we go. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where <laughs> whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. When are you going to use was or where in a question? When you want to express something that is related to the verb to be. Cuando tenemos la pregunta con el verbo to be en pasado, we are going, of course, to express the idea with was and where. Estabas, tenías. Acuérdense que ese es el significado en presente, de ser o estar. ¿En pasado sería? Estabas. Estabas y tenía. Estuvo. Estuvo, o oh, ajá, in this case. Depende del sujeto, that's it. So, this is the first important point. And you will use did mm -hmm. for all the rest of the verbs in English. And you will use did with all the other verbs in English. If I'm not using verb to be, I'm going to use the auxiliary did. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. Okay, here We've we already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. Okay. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. Okay, so let's go to the practice right now. Remember that you can go watch the video once and over and over, right? So, 
I prefer you go to the practice right now. Pablo, do you have a question? No, este era esa. Creo que, creo que se respondió porque mm -hmm. quería preguntar si, si siempre que no sea el verbo to be, to be. Mm -hmm. siempre se va a usar entonces el auxiliar did. Es correcto. Solo el verbo to be tiene esta excepción. The rest of the yeah. verbs in English we are going to use did. Bien. Look at the example. Match the questions with the answers. I have six different questions, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I have six different answers, A, B, C, D, E, and F. So let's try to identify what is the information that we are going to get. It depends on the question, right? So I already have number one done for you. Where were you born? Pueden reconocer este ejercicio. Do you recognize this exercise? Si a dónde han visto este ejercicio? Where did you watch this exercise? En la plataforma estaba. En la plataforma. The platform, you see? So if you go and practice from your book, you're going to find the same exercises, right? So veamos si respondieron bien la plataforma letter well number one where were you born this is letter e. e very good job so we already have e it's over let's see fernando help me out with number two number two learn d Okay, but read the question and then give me the answer. Okay. Where did you grow up? Where did you grow up? Where did you grow, grow up? up? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Tokyo. Is that right, class? Do you agree with that response mm -hmm. or not? Letter D, is yes. that the correct one? Yes. It's yes, correct. Yes. It's, it's correct. It's correct. Very good job. Let me ask. Let me see. Sonia, number three, please. And then Roxana, number oh, four. Oh, was your first day of school? It was a little scary. What letter is it? F. Okay. So let me type this. D. Did you say F? Did you mean F? F, yeah. Class, do you agree on this one or do you have a different response? Yes? Correct. That's correct. Very good job. Roxana, correct. continue, please. Correct. Mm -hmm. Was your best friend in a school? Uh, Sería literal A. His name was Akio. Letter A. Is that correct, class? Or do you have a different response? Yes, correct. correct. Oh, that's correct. correct. Very yes, good. Yes, correct. Yes, perfect. Very good. It's, it's correct. perfect. Let me see. Let me have Herson with number five. Okay, Anna and Stephanie, please. Number five. What was he like? Mm -hmm. uh, B. He was really friendly. Do you agree on this one, class? Is letter B the correct one? All right. Yes. yes. So. Yes. Okay. Right. So yes. we're, we're only missing just one. Maria Lucila, please. Number six. Why did you take this class? You see, I wanted to improve my English. Mm -hmm. I wanted to improve my English. 
So very good job. Very good job. So now let me ask you. Let's stop sharing and let me ask you. Jessica, Jessica, where were you born? Jessica Montes, where were you born? Is Jessica Montes in the class? You Perfect. see, that's why I don't like you to have your cameras off. Saira, please, where were you born? I was in El Salvador. Okay, can you repeat that again, please? Where were you born? I was in El Salvador. I was in born in born El Salvador. I was in born or I was born. I was born. There we go. I was born in El Salvador. Walter, where did you grow up, Walter? Where did you grow up? I grew up in Ciudad Delgado. There we go. Fernando, where did you grow up? I grew up in Isalco. Okay, excellent. Um, Roxana, who was your best friend in school? Her name was Janira. Excellent. Marina, who was your best friend in school? She was really friendly. But who was your, your friend? Who was? Her name is her name was Idalia. Oh, her name was Idalia. Very good. Aleli, how was your best friend in the school? <laughs> I know I had best friends. <laughs> you didn't have a best friend? Okay. No. <laughs> Who was your favorite teacher then? Uh, Mauricio. Mauricio. Um, my favorite, my name uh, was favorite teacher. Is Mauricio. What was he like? Um, mm, I had dressed chess. Chess. Ah, no. Listen, what was he like? Oh. What was he like? I, okay. Um, I was um, like, he like, uh, I was he like, uh, chess? Chess? Is correct? No. no, oh no, I understand. Okay, Nelson, who was your favorite teacher at the school? Uh, my favorite teacher in school was uh, Mr. Somoza. Okay, so how, no, what was he like? Uh, he was, oh, he's very friendly. There we go. He was very friendly. Ven la diferencia. Verlo en la plataforma con opciones fácil. Identifico. Escucharlas y responder. Puedo dudar, but that's it. How was he like? ¿Qué significa eso? What is the meaning of that? ¿Cómo era él? ¿Cómo era ¿Cómo él? He was friendly. Very good job. He was friendly. So let me have some other ones. Eh, Rebeca, Rebeca. Let me see. Where did you grow up? Rebeca. So Rebeca and Jessica, they are not there. Wilson. Tell me, teacher. I'm here, teacher. I'm here, teacher. How was your first day of school? Um, may you repeat, please, teacher? 
How was your first day of school? Um, my first day on the school was so fun. Okay. Interesting. Pablo, oh, how was okay that Pablo, how was your first day at work? Perdón. How, how was, was your first day at work? Who can answer this one? How was your first day at work? ¿Quién me puede responder? How was your first day at work? Yeah. Yes, yes, teacher. I think. I think that it was it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, like yeah, my first day in the work. Was it no? Was your no easy? It's a little scary. Yes. No easy. No les pregunto oh, the school good. porque creo que eso no sabemos en sí cómo reaccionamos. I don't even remember. But how was your first day at work as a teacher? For oh, me, it was it scary. I was very scared. How about you, class? It was it's what it was, it was uh, not easy. It was not easy. Why? <laughs> Very compli complicated. It was not easy. Any other response? Yeah. Otra respuesta. How was your favorite first day at work? It was amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, on the other hand, for her, it was amazing. May I ask you, where do you work? May I ask, where do you work? I am graphic designer. You are a graphic designer? Yes. Oh, imagine, that. that's nice, okay. So how was your first day at work? ¿Cómo fue su primer día de trabajo? Quedémonos con esto, okay? To finish the class. How was your first day at work? Because I cannot continue. It was great. <laughs> it was right. <clears throat> great. Great? Great? Yeah. Can I say or, this? Great. Yes. Great or great? Great. 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 Genial. Original. Ah, ¿saben qué escuché yo? Great? ¿Fue gris? Oh, no. It was great. <laughs> great. Okay. Great. Okay. Great. Okay. okay. It was okay. It was terrific. Great. Terrific. Amazing, right? Verbals. <laughs> How was your first day in your it English was, class? It was nervous. I was nervous. <laughs> How was your first day in this English class or in this English course? How was your first day in this English class? It nervous. Uh, it was nervous. Really? You were nervous. Why? <laughs> uh, normally, normally, it was. It was some. It was. It's normally, it was. It was uh, no. Uh huh. Um, suspense. Some suspense. <laughs> pues, Why? Un poco de suspense porque qué vamos a hacer o qué vamos a aprender. Expectativa. O qué nos van a poner a hacer. Ah, como you already know that you always have a teacher and the teacher is going to explain and you're going to practice your English. So there's no. What is a teacher? Right? Yeah. Ah, who is the teacher? You want to find out who the teacher is, right? A teacher new. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right. So I imagine. So class, <clears throat> I cannot continue speaking anymore. Oh, see, yeah. Yeah, que he fundido. Yeah. Preguntas. Really? <laughs> Pasémonos al español. Preguntas. Questions. Really? Yes, I cannot. I'm about to lose my voice. Siento que ya Neces pierdo necesitamos, mi voz. necesitamos más, más práctica en, en esas preguntas. Porque la verdad que estamos bien. algo perdido. Ok. Solo para que Vamos, vean. Que sí, está bien. Expresémonos. No a bien. Si se fijan lo que les dije. Es fácil ir a la plataforma y tener la sí. opción ahí. Sí, Marín, ah, aquí tengo la respuesta. Si me equivoqué, ah, voy a elegir otra. No, pero lo difícil es cuando tengo el mismo ejercicio 
y se los hago a ustedes preguntas. No sé quién está preguntando, pero si ya fueron a la plataforma. Pero si que no me acuerdo. So, ¿cuál es, su meta? ¿cuál es la meta de ustedes? No understand. Completar no un ejercicio en la plataforma o entenderlo al 100%. What is your goal? Understand. Understand. Entenderlo. Entenderlo. To understand. To be able mm -hmm. to express understand. your ideas in English. Right? That is your goal. Entenderlo para poder contestar. Ok. So I'm gonna do the same. Voy a hacer lo mismo mañana. Voy a agarrar cualquier ejercicio de cualquier sección anterior para ver si es cierto mm. que hemos entendido el ejercicio. Right? Ya nos poncho. Mañana me voy a enfermar. <laughs> no, so you're, so you're going to be the first one, César. César va a ser el primer en participar. So okay, no, 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 no. Así no. No, tú no me gusta ya no. la clase. No, Así no. That is real life. Así es la vida real, chicos. We are going to stop the class here. Thank you so much. I always enjoy this class, you know. I really have fun with you guys. So. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for joining. Teacher. We are going to meet tomorrow, okay? So have it's a great night. night okay? Thank See you, you for today. Bye. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's not. no, right? I guess it's not. So, bye bye, class. Yeah, no. See you tomorrow. Good night, Good night to you. Good night.